She's got to go. Before we go too far, just so you know, I just bashed that on there and I was smashing that axe. It hasn't budged. Look at it hasn't budged. I smashed it on with a hammer. Like you know what I mean? The bottom of the bottom of the handle, like when I half my axes, it hasn't moved. There's no wedge, there's nothing in it. Friends. Here we are again. <clears throat> Apparently it's supposed to get quite frosty. So shapeshifter, I told folks that I would try when I'm doing my selfie modes, cause I'm building video, this is what I do. I build videos and I go cut things and I live my life, and, which is usually to do with axes and power saws and helping folks and just living. Looking after my property here and making sure my wife's good and my family, just simple stuff. But she will like it. I do these videos at this time of day. It just seems to work okay with my program. Now, friends, today in this video, I'm just going to pick up where I left off. You'll notice just before I started flapping uh, that, oh, what I was going to say, actually, shapeshifters, I told folks that I would try and look. Not here because give me a heck yeah. When you're making a video on selfie mode, we tend to look at ourselves, which is over here. So we're looking at ourselves when really we should be looking there. And it's a, it's a, it's difficult, but once you get it, it just starts to flow. You do anything for 21 days straight, it becomes habit. That I do know, I've tried it and it works. I don't know why it's 21 days. Could be 19, could be 23, don't know, but 21 works. Anyways, um, I, I bust out an old, uh, an old McCulloch. Uh, and I just start eating this wood. I haven't run this saw in a while. So it uh, it needed a bit of priming to get going. So I flashed her up, got her rolling. And uh, I was going to grab another one and, and, you know, run a couple of Max. But I thought, no, I, this is cutting too good. This is too fun. I haven't had it out for a while. So let's just keep rolling. So I'm just going to go along and kind of bring you guys, gals, women, and children along the process of me finishing up this, the, this, this yard work. It was a big job, friends. It just was. And uh, friends, Brad, we, we just gave on the live feed. Is it Monday? It is Monday. Um, I, uh, I built Jay and Axe, Jay Daniels, uh, on, on the video yesterday. And friends, Brad, buddy... <laughs> We, we got so much good content, friends, coming up down the pike or whatever you want to call it. I'm excited about it. Uh, I like access, eh? Did I tell you that? Yeah, I do. So today, I'm going to help Ken, my stepdad. You've all met him. Well, maybe not all. If you're new here, you may not have met him. He was a gentleman that we lived with for seven years down in Boat Harbor, down the way here. And he had a, a their neighborhood had some tree work done. I couldn't get there. I think I was, I don't know where I was. Anyways, he got the tree done. Uh, we basically, we referred a guy named Matt at Summit Tree Care. Hogan used to work for him. He got the tree job done. It's a nice fur, but he needs it split. Ken's 70-something. He called me the other day and said, Buckin, can you give me a hand getting this thing split? And I'm like, hmm, yeah. So we're going to go do that. So we're going to test some axes. The new Buckin Wood Bullet. And this new axe that we are thinking about putting in, bringing it back from the from the days gone by, friends. It was a JB Stobler, and if you've been watching the channel, you know the axe I'm talking about. There's something about it. As soon as I started swinging it, I was like, okay, this is a little bit nuts. And you've seen it on the channel. It's a lighter axe, so I thought, well, you know, this would be nicer in in a heavier weight. Well, it's actually. Jay Daniels' axe was three and a half pounds. We're going to take it out today before I send it to him and clobber some fur with it. 
straight grain fur, friends. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing crazy. But uh, there might be some Arbutus down there we can have a go at, too. It's a wicked profile. It's all in the profile. Let's get into this video. We bust out an old 550 McCulloch, and we start blasting off here and keep going on this cleanup job in the yard. And uh, I hope you enjoy, friends. Click the thumbs up. Click the freaking notification bell. Hey, friends, here's another thing. It just hit me. I'm going to do a premiere video. I've never done one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you, where I come in the comment section with you guys and we talk about the video? We should do it. Maybe we should do it. I'll, I'll maybe do it with this next one, with the wood splitting video. And if folks got questions about axes and profiles and the flick maybe, we'll talk about it. Give me a heck yeah. Tell me if you guys like that idea in the commentos down below ski and uh, we'll go from there. I think that's a good idea. I've wanted to do one of these premiere videos for a long time. I'm finished flapping. Enjoy the video. This old Mac is a blast. I love yous. Work hard, be honest, and be kind because all you got is your name. cc saw is much stronger friends it's much stronger and uh but but the big bore is much sharper my square filing is is not not the greatest i'd be better off just round filing but i'm learning so you you see what we're doing there eh, friends friends aroni okay you know what i mean yeah so yeah, that's lovely. It, uh, that that big bore is nuts. L nutso. So obviously we can't have this go rolling down the hill. So I might pull out a Mac here. <laughs> yeah, I might actually, right now. And then see, if I was to try and buck these, right? To buck them right off and down. Now you're trying to get close to the ground. Well, just buck it three quarters all the way, all the way along. And then you got a way better chance of just rolling it down the hill and so it doesn't run away on you. You can set up stuff. So it's way easier to catch a log than it is one, one round rolling at high speed because a log has got a better chance of like, you know, hitting a branch and stopping and yeah. And it, here in this situation anyways, you know what I mean? Friends, there's some really good tips um, for bucking firewood on a slope in this video. Like that log's got to get bucked, but I can't just buck the rounds or they, they will leave and go down and smash into the neighbor's fence and I have a, a bank there. <clears throat> so if you're a saw, fella, fellat, whatever, there's some great little tips in here, friends, for firewood guys, logging, whatever, bucking, uh, tree work, bucking on a slope. There's just some good stuff in here. Check it out. I think you'll appreciate some of them and incorporate some of them into your game. What a noot. Here we go. This is what I need here. This is what I'm talking about. There we go.
Mel Hopper. It's been a while, brother. Look at the beauty of it. Friends, this is where my heart is. Don't forget it. That is where my heart is. Mel Hopper, you've done a great job the time you put into this for me. Thank you, buddy. Listen to that thing. that saw for a long time and you know what's crazy about it friends bellhopper had a freaking uh he had a carb he, we we had some carb issues he 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 did a lot of work on this saw and uh i got it and i was just oh my gosh first time i ran one was at at buck and stock one where i met the bellhopper anyways i'm not gonna go on you guys all know i love my max they're like an old chopper. They're like riding an old hardtail chopper down the highway. <laughs> See, when it comes to cutting my firewood, should we get out a tape measure? There'll be nothing over 13 inches there. Nothing. It'll all be around 13, 12 to 13 inch. Oh, Donnie Walker sent me a message. I got to talk to him. Friends, I love yous. I wanted to run that my my square filing on that but remember I, that's the walker's chain eh? and, and it's not meant for square ground it's just not there's not a corner on it be kind friends work hard and be honest remember you're invincible <laughs>